Queen Elizabeth's coffin arrived in Westminster Hall following a procession from Buckingham Palace earlier this morning. The late monarch will lie in state until her funeral on Monday. Britain's new king led the journey behind the horse-drawn carriage with his siblings and sons, Princes William and Harry. Massive crowds lined the streets across central London, too. Yeah, many people waiting many, many hours right there to get a glimpse. Joining us this afternoon with more on some of the security issues and logistics is Bobby McDonald, a former Secret Service agent to President Joe Biden and now a criminal justice lecturer at the University of New Haven. Thank you very much for being here this afternoon. Mark and Stephanie, good afternoon. Nice to be with you. It's interesting. We saw the procession today. Obviously, this took a lot of planning. I would imagine this has been in the works for quite some time. What are your thoughts when you see that? What went into that? Well, you're exactly right. Here we have an event that's been planned, rehearsed, and tweaked for the better part of 70 years since she uh, was uh, coronated. So you've got every movement is meticulously rehearsed and planned. You've got the insertion now of world leaders coming in for the funeral. Um, the eyes of the world are gonna be on London and there is a huge logistical and security apparatus that is in place by the London Metropolitan Police. And when you talked about all of those world leaders being in London, are there any major security concerns when it comes to these events leading up to this? And of course, when all those world leaders will be in town? Certainly, anytime uh, you have an event with a number of world leaders uh, and a very recognizable uh, funeral uh, person that's involved here with the Queen, I would also throw the Pope into that uh, group, a recognizable person. Uh, anything could happen when we have a number of world leaders, just as we have the issues when we have the State of the Union every year with a lot of leaders in one location. The rest of the world also has to be vigilant that we may be keeping our eyes in, on London and some terrorist groups may want to try to do something else in and around other places. So a lot of different issues here in and around London, but also the rest of us have to remain vigilant. It's really something, though, Bobby, when you watch what's been going on over the past several days, you see the, the now king, his wife, uh, the princes just walking around with the crowd there, shaking hands, greeting people, talking with them. Uh, maybe it's just the way we are here in this country, but I see that and I know that I think that is really something to me that I feel like anything could happen. W what is going into that to keep them safe? I'm sure there's a lot that we do not see. Huge concern there. You know, uh, the Brits uh, and the royal family like to do a lot of, uh, I would call, outdoor things, riding in open carriages. I believe they call those walkabouts where they go out and greet the crowd. You know, with that number of people uh, in and around Buckingham Palace or in and around the cathedrals, it is virtually impossible to screen everybody and make sure that the entire area is safe. So you're going to have upwards of 10,000 police officers involved in this event. You're going to have approximately 2,000 military personnel. They're going to be watching every tube uh, station, every cathedral, every royal park. All sorts of areas are going to be watched with the uh, utmost number of police that they can get involved, as well as uh, intelligence uh, gathering from different groups. The, the Brits are very good at intelligence gathering, and I'm sure that, again, as the Queen has gotten older, these planning purposes, uh, these planning meetings, I should say, have uh, happened uh, at, a, at a more frequent pace than maybe 20 years ago, obviously knowing that something was going to happen at some point. All right, great insight. Thank you so much. Bobby McDonald, security expert. We appreciate it from the University of New Haven. Nice being with you. Thank you.